genius, Nas. Just, 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 just give it to me right there. Genius level intellect for that one. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> nah, nah. Two minutes ago, you were saying something completely different. <laughs> Who, me? <clears throat> no, no, no. Okay, how do we get out of here, though? <laughs> I found it, yes. All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're about to get another trophy! Getting closer and closer. You have to fight a Genova here, don't you? No, uh, there is two bosses, but we gotta fight a Genova. <coughs> a dragon! Dude, Sephiroth from Smash is in Final Fantasy VII. Did you know they took a time machine and went back and added them to the game? From yeah, that, I love that. That character, that character from Smash is in this whole game. That's crazy. All right, so here's the plot of the game, by the way. Meteor is going to fall on the planet, and everyone dies, and that's obviously not good. So we're going to stop that. Why don't I do the yellow Gohan video? There is a very small gap between my skills and Goresh. It's only a, a little bit of a gap, you know, a very small one, but, um, you know, <laughs> it does exist. All right, boss time. And uh, we're a little bit way too overpowered, so he's going to die very fast and very easily. Let's have fun, though. Let's do Titan. Let's do Odin. Kajada is not going to work on him because um, I think it's a... He's immune to the damage type, right? Yeah, well, because I think Kajada hits with uh, fire, ice, lightning, and earth. So if they have immunity or absorb any of it, it doesn't work. What else we got here? Oh, let's hit him with bio three. Sure. Dude, Sid does so much damage with his... Oh, because he has a championship belt. He hits so hard! Goodbye, f***er! What the hell? A championship belt on Sid. Chill! This man. <laughs> Obliterated his <laughs> Oh my god. Counter attack. Sid, whoa! Whoa! All right, Bahamut. Trophy! Yes, Nas! Yes! Getting them done. All right. Each Bahamut you get, the animation just gets increasingly cooler. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It gets so ridiculously long. Yeah, he like starts off dragon, shoots a fire breath. Okay, and then it evolves them into like a basically a Gundam satellite laser cannon nukes from orbit. Gundam satellite laser cannon. I I, I like the description of that. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Oh, check the end. See, the my, bad. my bad. My bad. <laughs> I put my phone down. Yes. <laughs> my bad. My bad. If you could substitute another character in Aerith's place, who would it be, Truth? Um, I don't know. Maybe Kate Sith? All right. And it can't be Kate Sith or Red 13. It has to be one of the human characters. <laughs> um. I, pro I probably have the least attachment to Yuffie, honestly. Like, yeah, that's what I said, too. Yeah, because, like, Vincent is just so cool. Sid is the best. Barrett is the best. Tifa's literally the hottest girl of all time. Like, like you know, Cloud is awesome. Yeah, and if you could trade Yuffie to save Aerith, it would be worthwhile. I don't, I don't like Yuffie. I'm just saying, of all the cast of actual, like, human people like all right imagine it's like chrono trigger right there's that segment of the game where you can go back in time and replace the chrono with a doppelganger chrono so that chrono doesn't die and you can get him back or you can choose not to right? so if you had to pick one of the final fantasy 7 cast of your favorite least favorite to be that doppelganger to save Aerith, which one would it be and for me it was you for truth also yeah yep yeah. 
It's almost a no-brainer because everyone else is is too likable, and that like steals your material and puts you through all this heartache through like a whole like fifth of the game right there. So. Piece of sh she is. Yep, she did do that. Yeah. You would choose Twice Don Qu Don Corneo ain't a main party member though. You goof. Don Corneo. <laughs> I've read a couple of good uh, Don Corneo mangas, if you catch my drift. How old am I? I'm 47. <clears throat> my 48th birthday is coming up. I graduate from a boomer to a super boomer. Coming soon. Oh, you better hurry, Truth. This is where the pyramids went. What is the floating pyramid? It, like, starts to shrink. Um, so what happens is the entire temple itself is the black materia. But it's like, if you touch that little pyramid, it shrinks and shrinks, so you get trapped inside of it. So they're going to use this fake Kate Sith, or they're going to have Kate Sith do it. He's going to be the one to touch the shit and turn it into the black materia. And then we'll leave, it'll turn into the black materia, and we can grab it. Am I an e-boy? I'm an e-boy. I'm what they would consider an e-boy. You can change Aerith's equipment after the fight, right? Whatever, I, I just saved. If, if we can, I'll just redo it. What are you trying to change? Um, so after this, Aerith permanently leaves the party, right? So uh, I have a unobtainable equipment on her. Yeah, but that all gets returned no, to you. Think, right? some, of, some of the stuff does not return, actually. What, like materia? Uh, her weapon. Uh, like, again, it, like it doesn't... Unequip? Yeah. Like, her materia and, like, the accessory and stuff like that does. So what do you mean you saved? You're going to have to reload the save to unequip yeah, her? Yeah, if I can't. I can't remember. I think you can access the inventory one more time after this. Like before you walk out the yeah. door. All right, so here's Bahamut. Our first use of Bahamut. Pretty cool. The King of Dragons. Not quite the orbiting satellite laser cannon Gundam He'll yet. come later on. The Megaton Crusher. But I didn't. How much damage did it do? Whatever. Let's do Kajada. Let's do Odin. Let's just do all the big. Mmm. I love this. Through the boss is just a wall. The wall is the boss. <laughs> well, this is a this is a repeat of the Final Fantasy IV boss, yep. the Demon yep. One. Like a literal repeat. Like same art and everything. That is correct. Well, how did he breathe in space? Why do we care how he can breathe in space? That doesn't matter to him being a dragon. Silly good guys. You should have just left the temple alone. Yeah, Sephiroth really does play them for fools. Like, it's like, yeah, go do that for me. All right, thanks. See, I'm pretty sure we go down there and get it. Like, I can actually check the... Am I wrong? Do I actually have to do this entire fight over again? No way. No. no. I swore you could use the, the menu here. Okay. We actually might have to go over and redo the fight. <laughs> Whoops. I, I swore you could do a menu in this crater thing here. So here's where Cloud can't prevent himself from. Cloud gave the black material to Sephiroth. No. Uh, silly me. <laughs> Whoops. I, when I was standing on the bridge and I said, I, I'm pretty sure you could sh get, enter your mentor or your, your menu later. Uh, looks like you cannot. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. So we got to redo Demon's Gate. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. <laughs> Silly me. I'm a funny boy, Nas. What can I say? Yep, we got to watch Kate Sis' death yet again. What can I say? I'm a piece of sh making him die twice, huh? 
It happens. And now you're just going to betray your friends again. Yep. What a terrible person. We've arrived, Bone Village. Start digging. Uh, I kind of, there's like an item that I want to get here, but I don't know where to get it. What? The Lunar Harp? Uh, not the Lunar Harp, but just like, there's like a gun for, I think, Vincent you can get. This is one of the treasures they can dig up? Yeah. So you just got to keep digging until you find it. What is that? A? I like how you're ordering searches, like, in their village, like they haven't already been searching this area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Lunar Harp, we got it. Still going strong, Truth? Of course. I'm just about to start streaming Mario Kart, so I thought I'd jump in here and say hello. And maybe hang about and shout some obscenities, but I won't really. I'll leave oh, when dude, I start we streaming. Can get the mop here too? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get these. I gotta look it up. That was just. Bud line. Like, yes, I am the greatest. All right. What'd you find? Uh, I think it's a gun. Didn't you? Isn't there one one more thing you have to get here? Yeah. Well, actually, I might as well get this too. Hold on. Because you're so high, you can't even see straight saying Dokkan's the best video game of all the time. The greatest creation. Uh, you know what? Dokkan Battle is the greatest creation known to mankind. How about that? Now I know you're just awoke. So you know what time it is? After what you Guess what we have to do after doing that now. Sleep, sleeping Forest is woken up. What do we do now? Uh, You gotta go get Aerith's We gotta go back to Fort Condor. <laughs> Back, There's another battle. Back to Fort Condor we go. I could bait people right now because like Truff's voice is on my stream, so I could say Truff plays Mario Kart. They'll hear his voice and they might think he's actually playing, but then they'll realize I've pulled them in with that bait. Oh, the clickbait. Okay, I support it. Go ahead, get your bag. Secure the bag. <laughs> yeah, done, Monopoly doesn't take as long. Monopoly could theoretically take 10 I, times longer. I think longer Monopoly would take longer, wouldn't it? I, I do think Monopoly no. would take longer. Monopoly takes like 90 minutes. You, what world do you live in? 90 minutes? No. Yeah. No. It does. What? No. No. That's assuming that every time you roll, someone's landing on a hotel or something. But what if you like hit the chance times in the railroads like ten turns straight? Then you owe whoever uh, owns the railroads play... money. Yeah, but it's not that much. Exactly. Yes, it is. Can you not play eight player Monopoly as well? I'm pretty sure it supports eight players. Well, we're gonna play uh... the N64 version, so we'll see. <laughs> we will. See. I don't think that supports eight players. I don't I mean, think the N64 has only has four controller slots. So. Well, all, hey, that... yeah, it can do past the controller. It's nice that and counts. janky, so it'll be fun. I know that. I, I just I'll, all I know is I'm the money bag piece. Okay. Money is that even in the N64 game? Have you even looked at that? I don't know. I don't care. We're making it up if it isn't. <laughs> the GameCube version is better and probably. Well, we're has gonna play money. both, Nas. Nice. Just that simple. I mean, wouldn't nice. we have to do the same you, game? On the we should uh, you play have both a job. You've got to learn. Yeah, we should play both, and then we'll review which one's better as a, as a I video. I like it. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. if, the money bag, if the money bag isn't in the N64 version, you've got to learn how to mod the assets so that Ganesh can go off the money bag. I'm gonna or make. We'll just have our video editors just edit a money bag over whatever. No, nah, it needs to be a big purple dildo. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Wario's is that what you would like? Stealing all <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's, like. that's what That's what you would want on there, huh? Yeah, it's a perfect representation of purple Wario stealing my stars. I'm just excited for when we play Monopoly and turn one, Toon Romulans lands on chance time and goes to jail. <laughs> oh, God. Are you laughing at his laugh? <laughs> my wife just heard your laugh for the first time, Shrimp, and she's like, what the f is that? <laughs> Do you know what you just compared your laugh to? You know how Who Framed Roger Rabbit? When Christopher yeah. Lloyd's character's like melting and he's doing that laugh. That's Judge what she Doom. just said it sounds oh, like. No. Judge Doom. <laughs> Who Framed Roger Rabbit seems appropriate. It's one of the best That's a movies. great movie. Yeah. Oh, it's such a great movie. Julie, I can't believe you said have they watched it. <laughs> Roger Rabbit is hardly a niche movie. It was one of the original movies that did the hybridized, like, real world with cartoons in it. Type yeah, you know how long that took them to make? 
taken them like forever. To Wait, I'm that. confused. Dennis Hopper was it? Oh, do you mean Mario Bob Hoskins? Huh? Right, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably because I thought you were talking about the judge. Make it because they didn't have green screens back in the day. Chroma key out. Yes, this theme, the Forgotten City theme, is so good. I wonder if anybody actually enjoyed the Mario Brothers movie. Surely yeah, there must be somebody. So bad. Yeah, I like it. I like. No, it. but it was it was it was like Dragon Ball Evolution bad, so that it was so bad no. that. It was funny. Oh, you don't think it's a good Dragon representation Ball of the Evolution. franchise, huh? Straight up. Dragon yeah. Ball Evolution was just a disgrace through and through. The Mario oh yeah, but the Party Mario Party from... movie or the Mario is not. <laughs> the Mario, Mario movie is not. It it it. it it has like it's bad but like cute attempt to rationalize everything like dude all you have to do is look at bowser he, in the movie he turns into a little oh, literal t-rex uh, but you know street, street fighter was bad right but street fighters come to a point where street fighters actually so bad it's good Rao Joel is um m bison for example is brilliant in that film so it has some good redeeming qualities but mario doesn't surely Mario is just bad. It's like the worst movie ever, or something. Oh, that's not bad. oh yeah. Yoshi's like a literal little baby T Rex. Yeah, but it's <laughs> just like look at Bow look what Bowser looks like. He's a human. Until he gets hit with the de evolution gun. De -evolution. Oh my god! Why is that even really in the movie? Like first of all, why is that a thing? Because they needed a way to put a Super Scope Six in there. <laughs> nice. Why do you remember the plot? How, why do you remember the plot? Movie. I think John Leguizamo is funny, and I think that movie okay. is campy. Like, it's good in a bad, campy way. I like it. Oh my god, nice. Mario and Luigi shoot, shoot like movie, guns man. in that movie. It's like, doesn't make any sense. It's not guns, it's the Super Scope 6. <laughs> it's like a, it's, it was the Super Nintendo bazooka accessory light gun. Like, oh, that's god. literally the prop for their guns in the movie, which I love that. Yeah, they have to they have to put that in there, yeah. Yeah, product placement. Oh no. The best Mario movie is The Wizard. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's not really a Mario movie, but the one that he's got the power glove and it's Fred Savage and he enters the gaming competition and they unveil Super Mario Brothers 3 for the first time. You must oh, have seen yeah. it. I forget, what was the name of the movie like Geeks or something? No, it was, it was called The Wizard. The wi oh, the wizard, yep, yep. Yeah. And he pulled out that power glove, and every kid that's seen that movie wanted the Nintendo power glove. And then, if you actually were lucky enough to get one, you realize it was pure shit and it did nothing, and it made it impossible to play a game. Got the comment yeah, material. Animatic, Woo! You're talking about Battle Clash, and Battle Clash was amazing on the Super Scope so. I do Look like at the Super fish. Marvel. I love this random fish here. It makes literally no sense. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So Can you fish it so out? Stupid. No. Fuck all y'all. I don't care if you don't like the Super Mario Brothers movie. I like it. Literally just go, <clears throat> go on YouTube and search like Super Mario Brothers movie highlights or something. It's like the dumbest Oh, I know everybody doesn't like the movie. It's not a very liked movie. Guys, I'm actually starting to think if you do like the Super Mario Brothers movie, you I may do. be slightly... I'm, trolling. I I'm starting to think like you it. might actually have a soft spot for Dragon Ball Evolution because it is that level of bad. No, the only thing I like about Dra Dragon Ball Evolution is Chow Young oh. Fat and oh. Goku fucking oh. Goku sliding across the hood of a Dodge Charger with his head. Did you like two. something about Dragon Ball Evolution that renders your opinion because awful? Because it's so ridiculously over the top stupid that you have to laugh at it, bro. And things that make me laugh make me happy. Fun. Like, yeah. in what world does Goku slide across a Dodge Charger on his head? Like, how does that happen? Is the Goku a, a white high schooler from America that's a douche? Oh, it's, like, it's it doesn't fucking... work. Right, Naz, now that it's time to go find Aerith, what do you think it's actually time to go do? Well, I'm assuming you're going to say go back to Fort Condor yep. again. Back to Fort Condor, here we every go. Every time. <laughs> you are correct. It's it's become a theme that every that is, that's what You see means. why I said I can't wait till we get to disc two. We Lame. won! We did it! I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Very good. Because you've achieved all of these since the first no, one. No, <laughs> stop. Five X potions. I could use those. Those are good. See, it's worth it. I mean, it's not really worth it, but you know, I could pretend like it's worth it. 
it's a perfect it's worth it to say i we have done a perfect playthrough y words cannot take that away from us nothing can take it away from us the perfect nothing can take it away the perfect playthrough all right back back we go to see say hello to Aerith. <laughs> all the way back <laughs> oh no Aerith, look out. Are, they even... are they even leveling their characters no, nah, it's. I mean, it's speed running, right? You're just trying to beat it as fast as possible. So they got all the strats down, Jeez. all the, everything. Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cheesing that goes on in speed runs, isn't there? Poor Aerith. Goodbye. Adios. Oh, is that where you are now, then? Yep.